It's Tuesday, July 5th, the day after Independence Day here in the United States. So needless to say, I'm a little hungover from... No, just kidding. (laughs) But I am intoxicated with gratitude just for the gift of this new day, as I'm sure all of you. Thank you for spending a little part of it today in prayer with us. I'm Father Ron. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 27, Fearless Faith The Lord is my revelation, my light, to guide me along the way. He is the source of my salvation to defend me every day. I fear nothing. I'll never turn back and run, for you, Lord, surround and protect me. My heart will not be afraid, even if an army rises against me. I know that you are there for me, so I will not be shaken. Here's the one thing I crave from God. The one thing I seek above all else, of living with him every moment in his house, finding the sweet loveliness of his face filled with awe, delighting in his presence. I want to live my life so close to him that he takes pleasure in my every prayer In his shelter, in the day of trouble, that's where you'll find me, for he hides me there in his holiness. He has smuggled me into his secret place where I am kept safe and secure, out of reach from the power of darkness. Triumphant now, I will sing and shout my gratitude to God. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Just yesterday, we we celebrated Independence Day. And, of course, everything is joyous, and everything is beautiful, and everything is just wonderful. It's like one big party. But we also know that there is an awful lot that needs to be done in our world. It's just not about celebrating our independence, but it's also about understanding what that independence is all about. We hear that there are laborers who are lacking in the vineyard. That's what the gospel tells us. And we know that. There's so much going on, and we know that the word needs to be spread. We know that other people need to hear the good things that the Lord has done for us, and also the good things that happen in our world instead of just the tragedies. But we need people to be able to do that. We need people who are not afraid to go forth. 
Yet there's so much that tells us that we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of ourselves. I oftentimes watch the Channel 5 News, NBC, and I hear Lester Holt saying at the end of every program, take care of yourselves and each other. That is so important for us to understand that what we need to do is take care of ourselves and each other. It's not just about ourselves, but it's about the other as well. We need to make sure that we give a message that is a message of hope and a message of peace. Someone once told me that oftentimes you may be the only Bible that someone else may read. We have to make sure that what we are preaching, what we are living, what we are teaching is truth, and most importantly, love. Our world is lacking a lot of that love. We need to make sure that others understand. Yes, our independence is important and everything else is great, but we still need to make sure that we preach that word in our lives so that others may know the truth that Jesus Christ really is our hope, our peace, our everything. Knowing there are a lot of people in the world who are not free, who are enslaved in war and violence, we remember them as now we pray the prayer of peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And And forgive forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I do trust in you. Help my lack of trust. Please make me aware of the ways you constantly embrace me and draw me into your heart and help me to be a more trustworthy person for others. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I don't know about any of you, but my question as I leave our prayer today is, did Lester Holt get his closing from Father Michael? Or did Father Michael get his closing from Lester? That's what we'll be pondering as we move through the day with God's blessing. Thank you for being with us today. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you tomorrow.